Hi everyone and welcome to this video on tips for cooking with dried beans. I'm Jenna Edwards, your cooking companion. In separate videos, I demo cooking with dried beans and I have other recipes using the beans. You can get all the information at jennagedwards.com or use the direct link in the video description. The most wanted information about beans is how to make them more digestible. And there are in fact a few things you can do about that. But mostly, it depends on the individual and how much fiber you're used to digesting. Overall though, a well-cooked bean is easy to digest. Both soaking and parboiling help eliminate the sugars that cause indigestion. So if you think you're sensitive, do both steps when cooking beans. This means soaking the beans for at least four hours, if not eight to 12 hours, and then draining them and adding clean water about three inches above the top of the beans in a large pot. And then boil this vigorously for five to 10 minutes. They won't be done or even tender at that point, but you've taken steps to make them more digestible. You can also add a few ingredients that bean eating cultures have been doing for centuries, like epizote, asafoetida, or kelp, specifically kombu. It's worth noting that beans almost always cook well in a pressure cooker. Slow cookers are also great for beans, although they do tend to break the bean down, so only use the cheap beans and always on the low setting. Now for storing your cooked beans. Because they can take a couple of hours, it is well worth your effort to cook a double or even a triple batch and then freeze them in smaller usable batches. When storing in the freezer in the fridge, use their cooking liquid. If they're stored in their broth, they can last up to five days in the fridge and up to six months in the freezer. There are specific notes on thawing and then cooking straight out of the freezer in the text accompanying this video. And about soaking. The length of time depends on the age of the beans. You can tell how old they are by how brittle and broken they are. Soak them for a minimum of four hours. A long soak is eight to 12 hours, but I wouldn't go longer than that. If you work a normal nine to five job, it may be easiest to start soaking in the morning and then cook them when you get home. Soaking also helps to sort debris and dirt and bad beans from the bunch. So you should also take a minute to sort through the beans before adding the water to get any of that stuff out. One point that's really important and may not be stressed enough is the timing of adding the salt. Do not add salt at the beginning. Adding salt will hinder the cooking of the bean. Only add the salt once the beans are tender, which is usually about an hour into cooking. Now you're ready for some beans. Read through more specifics at jennagedwards.com and go get your bean on.